You been stealing my candy? Suka, bless. Greetings, my comrades, and welcome back to another glorious Mr. Slavinator video. Oh, that's still filming. Yeah, I need to reposition that, otherwise we can go blind. Oh, that's better, there we go. Behold, the Belgian M51, possibly the gas mask that has had the longest service life. Uh, this was used from 1951 up until around the 80s in Operation Desert Storm, that was the 90s. Uh, there's actually photos of Belgian soldiers in Desert Storm wearing these gas masks and because they're so old, when they actually had to use them, they just ended up dying. So you can really feel sorry for those people. It says that inside the bag. I've actually had this gas mask for quite a while. I've had it for about a year but it was one of those masks which I just never reviewed. I have featured it in a couple of my videos showing off my whole collection, the first one and the second one. And here is the mask. Now you may recognize this mask, it was actually in Fallout 4, if anyone's played that, and I think it might have been in Stalker or Metro. I haven't played either of those, so I have no idea. So this is the mask. Got a nice six point head harness. It's got one of these things, so <laughs> just watch me struggle to put this on now. So there you go, you put it around your neck, and here is the filter. Now I have no caps, so I uh, taped it up, and that goes like that. Now if you get one of these masks, you can actually open this up, the voice diaphragm, and inside, there will be this sort of, not leather, but hide sort of material. It's very thin. You could probably see through that. And uh, in, I mean, on some of these masks, this is just completely uh, worn away. So I guess I was lucky. Uh, inside, here's the inside of the mask. <laughs> Let me pull that back. Oh boy, I've got myself in a real kerfuffle here. Yeah. Yes, this is me. You're probably wondering how I found myself in this situation. There we go, finally, many years later. So that's the inside of the mask. There's the speech diaphragm. It's got this really weird sort of pattern thing on the edge. Oh yes, that's a better angle. Tissot system. Yep, yeah, there's inside the mask. There you go. Now allow me to please wear this mask for you and demonstrate its gloriousness. So this is the mask. It doesn't fit me very well, so it is rather uncomfortable. There you go. I always like to play around with the voice diagrams on these. Yeah, that, that's fun. There you go, Belgium. M51. I think the French also used a variant of this called the C38, which I do not have. Oh, let me get this up because I've got dust particles going in my eyes. It also has this moulding at the bottom. So as you can see, this particular model was from 1958. We've got some more mouldings there. So thank you all for watching my comrades and I hope to see you again very very soon. Stay glorious. <laughs> That's what Das Games does, why did I do that? Suka bliat!